Good to the band, YouTube. This is like a Noki 101 speaking. Now, sorry about the coughing. It's my mom, she's really ill. But anyways, today I will be reviewing another LEGO mock, but these two aren't for a Bionicle. They're my own Digimon mocks that I'm hoping work with the uh, cross figure series. But anyways, these are kind of like what I like to call cross figure series 12. Omni Shoutmon slash Omega Shoutmon and Zeke Greymon. You know, for Digimon Cross Wars slash Digimon Fusion. Now, Omni Shoutmon himself is a uh, ultimate level dragon type, and he's pretty much got a lot of attacks. Heavy Metal Vulcan, Victorite Baking, Twin Fireball Strike, Doom Troll Press, and Omega the Fusion. Yeah, that's pretty much a lot of attacks. The Greymon on the other here is a cyborg Digimon who is one more attack than Omni Shotmon does. Trying to fang, destroy Smasher, Zeke Flame, Plasma Railgun, Final Strike, and Hyper Launcher. Now. Now, for this review, I'm going to be starting with Omni Shotmon here, or Omega Shotmon if you're Japanese. Now, this guy alone. He has no problem standing. And as you can see, here's the head. I uh, didn't get the eyes painted in, but you can kind of see the original eyes of this head. I will, I will try to figure out a way to paint in his eyes and try to get some more detail, but apparently using spray paint will only... Well, it'll only make this like poisonous if you try to use it for play. So, uh, post is obvious with everything on ball joints, but uh, as you can see, his hands can open and close. It's, what he ended up doing for the shoulders is that, due to the digifuse, we've got a uh, pivot joint here, and then the shoulders are double ball jointed. So, yeah, Moving to the shoulders, it's pretty much limitless. And I did also remember to give him a waist joint. So that if you manage to build this guy, you can reenact his doom drill press attack. And of course, in a perfect, I, uh, these uh, pieces are supposed to be right here, but I ended up moving them over here. And there's also this piece, which is used to connect to Ballistamon's shoulder. There's also these lightsaber bars, which I, which I didn't even bother. And for these, there's supposed to be a spike in the back, but I didn't remember that. Just in any ways, it would hinder the knee possibility. So, yeah. It's pretty much it for Omni Shotmon. Now, for Zeke Greymon, he's really high. And yeah, he's pretty much got trouble standing, so you're going to want to be careful when you're posing this thing. I, I put friction on all of his leg joints, but I don't, I don't think it's working. And this is just for the uh, Time 7 Fusion, which... I'll do a test run on while I when I get Blistamon, Jorillamon, and Sparrowmon. And head head over here is kind of the uh, weakest point of this mock. He doesn't really look as cool as he does in the show. And I will have an image in the description so that you know what his head really looks like if you're unfamiliar with him. But yeah, as you can see, his mouth can open and close, which I intended to do. The crazy part of, about this guy is, the, yeah, his legs can't come up, but that's supposed to happen for time seven, and that's not the crazy part. But real crazy part is the prefix for his name, Z-E-K-E. -E. That's not a very menacing prefix. That's more of a uh, human name of some kind. I think 
Right now, I'm hoping in America this guy's known as Victor Graymon Ver 2010. Because, you know, Sieg is the pronunciation of the German word for victory, which is spelled S I E G, or if you're German, S E A G. And yeah, those are four letters of the German alphabet. The plasma railgun over here is a, another weakness. I, uh, didn't, this is just for the, uh, Digifusion with Omni Shotmon. And speaking of which, these two can actually combine into Shotmon DX. And since I got Victor Greymon over here, I might as well start with him. So to start off, straighten the leg. This guy in. Yeah, but remember how he said you might want to be careful when you pose again? Well, I kind of like to have the eggs, the, the legs kind of like this. Because it uh, forms kind of a triangle. And then it would tail down like this. Reposition the arms. The grab his head. The di all the way back. And then temporarily open the chest. And yeah, this way he's way taller. Way too tall for my camera to even take a look. Because right now, this is my tablet to film this. And this part came off. Now, for Omni Shotmont, just decapitate, decapitate him and make sure this red peg is still attached to his neck. Back here, and then for this section, just simply fold down the feet. Then take the arms, bend them like that. Close with the hands, and then bend the elbow ninety degrees. Let's see from the other side. So there we go. And then this entire section will get attached to Victory Greymon's plasma railgun, which you find kind of nice. And then take this section, which is on the Shotmon's head. Straighten it up, and then plug it in up here. And then close the chest back up. Let's see if I can get this stand up straight. So, yeah, that's pretty much Shotmon DX. And, yeah, he's got the same amount of attacks on the Shotmon. Trying to just fang, Hyper Rock Magnus, Electric Buster, Cross, Victor Ice Baking again, and Brave Me, Rock Double Cross. Yeah, he's... Right now, he's really tall compared to the way my camera's positioned. So... Front view, view from the side, and then view from the back. Yeah, this guy is really, really tall. I mean, compare him, I mean, 
compare him to Shoutman, yeah, pretty much Shoutman gained a lot of hype since his Digivolution and Digifusion with Victory Greymon. And in case, it, in case you aren't familiar with the term, Digivolution is when the Digimon gained so much data that it metamorphs into something new. And that data is it's retrieved from human emotions. Something that Digimon literally lack. Well, not exactly lack, but at least they have some emotion. And Digifusion is when the number of Digimon merge together to upgrade a core Digimon and shout the core Digimon of the Fusion Finder slash Cross Heart. And again, you might want to be careful when you're posing this guy. The legs are a bit of the unstable side. So, yeah, if you manage to figure out how to build this guy, and I will do a how-to on the build later, you might want to be careful in posing the legs. The head and the arms are okay, but the tail and the legs, you're still going to want to be careful. But this arm is a little bit on the heavy. This arm's a little bit on the heavy side. I mean, you can still pose it, but unfortunately, it's not going to be able to hold it. So I may end up having to put. So I might end up putting more friction on the arms. As soon as I'm done with the review. So yeah, that's pretty much my look at Shotman DX. Again, I will do a how-to on this guy later. And there are actually images of uh, Zeke, Greymon, and Shoutmon times seven or cross seven if you're Japanese. So, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And this is like a Nookie 101 thing. Alfredo saying, or Beast Morgan.